Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I feel like my coat shrunk. I just washed it and it feels tight, you know? I hate washing winter coats when they make you feel like they're just shrinking. Anyways, I am heading outside and checking on what Kevin's doing. Today they're working on herd health and that usually happens about once a week where we check, um, we do herd health. So herd health is when we're checking certain cows to see if they're pregnant and then we're also checking other cows that we know are pregnant and we're seeing how far along they are and if it's time for us to dry them off. So we usually have a a dry off period where we stop milking them and we do that for at least 60 to 90 days. We like to have it in there. We like to give them that break before um, they give birth again. So usually 60 to 90 days is the goal. Um, there's really no um, exact date though. Um, we're happy to do 60 days um, we really don't want to get it under 60 days, though. We like to give them that break between um, the time that um, they stop milking, give them a break. Um, we, we stop milking them. They go into a separate um, barn, and there they just kind of hang out, rest, and eat until probably about a week or so before they give birth, and then we move them again um, into what we call the maternity pen. And there they will give birth and they will hang out there for a few days after they've given birth so they can just heal, recuperate, and um, give that baby the colostrum that it needs so it can grow healthy and strong. And then we put that cow in to, into the milking herd after, you know, three, four days. Anyways, I'm heading out there. Let's go see what everybody's doing ones that are you're checking for pregnancy or how far along they are checking to see if they're pregnant Have to go dry. Cow what? Cow goes uh, her 601 old farm. Uh, okay. She's gotta go to sale. That's sad. Out the barn. 618 can go back out to the barn. Here's a different view of the cows eating. They're all lined up. All the way down. 
Nobody's in the stalls. Sydney just fed them, so they're all eating. Hungry. Two oh one. Sorting out the ones that need to go dry right now. 201 in the jersey? Okay. Alright. Bring them down. Come on down. It's getting chilly out here. Well, we found out that these four girls are not bred. So they have to go to the sale barn and get sold. Um, just because we can't afford to feed them any longer because they're pretty not, pretty much don't make enough milk to support us or themselves. So they're gonna go to the sale. Uh, we already dried off four more. We already put them in their pens. I'm waiting for the kids to open up the gates and then I'll run these down. I think they're ready. Okay, here we go, girls. Okay. Excuse me. Come on, girls. All right. Whoops, I was told to wait, but that's not gonna happen. go back in the house it's chilly out here all right so um, this part of the video is for one of my viewers who has asked if we carry cell phones and primarily if Mackenzie does because we never show us on our phones this is my little phone but I'm gonna show you that we do carry cell phones we all actually have cell phones except for Sanders he Ooh. doesn't need one yet Boo. There's really no reason. But um so for for the most I'll do mine. So Mackenzie and Sydney have pretty much the same phone. Mine's last. Oh. This is Dad. Alright. Uh so Kevin and Ethan pretty much have the same phone also. And there's our flip phones. So, neither of them are very phone savvy or care about what their phone is. They can text on these and they can call. They can't get on, they're not a smartphone, so they can't get on, the, um, they can't get online with these. They probably could. I actually think he can, but anyways, just they don't. For calling each other in the fields. Yeah, they, Kevin does not carry his phone with him unless I hand it to him and say, here, take your phone. 
Um, and Ethan takes his when he leaves or goes somewhere, but he really very rarely uses it. He does text his friends a little bit, but it's very rare. Time consuming. <laughs> it's rare. My phone is just a Motorola um, G4 Play something. It's one of the cheaper phones. It's nothing too fancy. You like my owie? No. Yeah. So, and, um, yeah, that's mine. I okay. text and I get online. Mine's she gets on YouTube. With and those. I think Sydney just got a text, actually. <laughs> okay, so, and Sydney, uh, none of the boys carry their phones with them unless, they not around the away. farm, unless they are actually going somewhere. Somebody's trying to get a hold of Sydney, but mm -hmm. Sydney's not in the house. You should go look at it. Uh, not yet. Okay. Anyways, and then Mackenzie and I, we just have our phones with us all the time, it seems like. <laughs> not when we're in the house. I mean, it just lays on the counter or table or wherever. Mackenzie's is the same as Sydney's. They have the same iPhone, whatever. It's... Both of theirs were used. Did you get a scratch? No, that's the screen. She broke her screen a couple months ago. Actually, on your birthday. And then she had to get that replaced. Who was um, it? Oh, oh let me see it. Just leave it. Brian. This, this is his. Um, looks like work is texting him, but he's out. Work. He's out. Well, he's out feeding phones. cows right now. So, yep. So, same phones. Whatnot. Mine was a gift. Yes, her friend actually gave her this for her birthday. You want to see the phone I used to have? What one was that? My purple one. Oh yeah. You can do that. And then Sydney bought this used off Sanders. somewhere, Craigslist or something. And they were good, um, but doing? we're really not tech savvy or anything like that. We don't put high priority on our phone devices just because. This is what I use. We don't have. like to. This is her old phone. Uh, it's so a Sprint. Tiny. I have no idea what this is called. But she got this at a garage sale. Where it's an LG flipped. Rumor Touch. Kind of, it flips. It flips up, and then the keyboard is here. And then what happened to it? See this? Maybe none of you guys know what this looks like. Maybe you, none of you even know what a flip phone is. I don't even know there if the go, Sam, you batteries charged on this. See, he never takes it with him. So if we need to go, if I need to get a hold of Kevin and he's outside and I'm in here, I just send a kid out there. <laughs> Telegraph. Yeah. So anyway, that's our phones. Those are our um, technology that we don't like to have. I don't. I personally don't like to keep it on my body, and I don't like it when the kids keep it on their body. Um, but yeah. His case is ugly. Mine. This is your Pretty. case. They were both yours. You bought them all. I gave it to him because it was ugly. That was nice of you. Oh, it's an iPhone five. There you go. It's an iPhone 5. Okay, well that's... Oh yeah, I don't have a computer. Sydney has all the technology. Yeah. Oh, you Sydney's our techie Andy? guy. He's the one that no. taught me how to um, make videos, render videos, upload videos, edit. edit videos. He's the one that gave me the um, program that I use for editing, all of that. He's our techie guy. Um, but he doesn't do anything for YouTube. It's, he'll help me if I have a question, but he does not edit. He does not do anything. Um, and that was kind of, that was kind of our agreement. You teach me how to do it and support me and I won't make him do it. <laughs> now he's all good about it. Hi. Anyways, he likes doing that kind of thing. And that's what he does at his part-time job. He is, um, uh, what is that called? A sound man. No. He does everything. Handyman. Uh, he's Janitor. a handyman. No. He's not a he Anyways. It's a DJ. He's not a DJ. I don't know. He has a name for it. I don't know. He loves what he does. Okay, well. And by the way. In case all of you are wondering the kind of programs that we have on this or, um, so we have like prepaid, bleh, 
prepaid plans. Say that ten times fast. Prepaid plans. Prepaid plans. Prepaid plans. Prepaid pre plans. Pre yeah, so Sydney, I don't know, he buys minutes as he needs them. Same with Mackenzie. What is yours, track phone? She's with track phone, I believe. Um, Kevin is with Tello. I think Kevin, Ethan, Wait, what are you with? and Sydney. No, I'm with Ver um, Tello. Oh, yeah, I'm with Verizon. I'm with phone. Verizon. I'm the You're only one that Verizon. has an actual. Just because I think Verizon has I can better get service. I on the internet, though. Can I? You can get on the internet if you're on our Wi-Fi. You can get on, but you would have to pay for it. She, everybody pays for their own phone. Except I'm not sure if McKenzie. Ethan does. No, he pays for it. But I don't have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or Facebook. Nope, we're not social people. So what? We have YouTube. Ow. Mm. We have YouTube. <laughs> Well, it's evening again. It's almost 6.30, so I'm heading out, and I'm going to show you guys how 4.39 is doing. She's doing a lot better, and I'm just going to give you an update. Got a new calf in here. Sometimes what we have to do when they don't know, we have to lift their ear up. So, oh, here, let me show you guys. When they come in, they walk in, and this box reads their RFID tag, which I have, oops, sorry, which I have on their ear tag here. You can see it? This little button. It needs to come up here, and then the feeder will read it and make a feeding. But sometimes, sometimes, these little calves, especially the jerseys and some of the littler crosses, they're not as tall, so their ears are below this. The first day or two, we just lift their ear up, and it should read it. Oh, go back in. And it should read it. Oh, they just got fed. And then let's go find 59. There she is. Hi. She's not going to, she's kind of. Not very friendly anymore. You're feeling better, aren't ya? So, yeah. And this one's another new one. We'll have to put her in the feeder also. Alright. Got a little milk on your face. Y'all full, ready for bed. probably want more milk. Can't have any more tonight though.